presented with love. It's having as a vision presented with love. All right, and that big love, of course, is a lip flow. In fact, you see a lip flow that is pretty high and very close to the yellow. Usually, I think of two locations mainly: esophageal cancer, also sometimes some days. Okay, this comes from experience. It's not written in textbooks that you know high, what we call a level two, level five, very high one. Uh, you would think about. Uh, you know, esophageal cancer or tonsillar cancer. On the other hand, and this is this is also level two, but not so high. This is more a, a jugular digestive node. This one probably yeah, can be tonsil, tongue days, and you see a bit lower. But there's a difference, right? You notice between that one that is very high and this one slightly lower. But this one also has a node, or, or maybe as a subandibular gland uh, enlargement. Okay, so it's one mass here, which is very important. This one here, subandibular. Could be gland or subandibular lymph node. Difficult to tell sometimes. Of course, they say bimanual palpation. If it's if it's from the gland, you can feel it on both sides, then through the mouth as well as on the neck. And if it's just from the lymph node, then on the mouth side you can't feel it, but in the in the neck side you can feel it. So that is the general principle. Okay. Whatever it may be, uh, we never just biopsy a neck lump just because we see it. Okay, I think that's wrong. When you can't see a lump and just take it out. The correct thing to do is to do an ENT examination with a scope because most times we are able to identify the tumor uh, without having to touch the neck node at all. Okay? So in, in any case, most of them turn out to be NTC or CA console or tongue base, something that we can usually identify. Okay? Of course, after doing all that and you find nothing, then we may have to excise the neck node for sure. Okay? Because, for example, lymphomas of the head and neck, you can't find any primary site. Okay, so, uh, but this is a guiding principle, and uh, so for this case here, I just did a scope of this patient, and what I see inside is just the nasopharyngeal tumor. Okay, so this is what we need to do just to make a diagnosis, and after which you imply that it has to be that the node must come from the primary side in general. Okay, you can't think of uh, maybe it's two separate diseases. Eh? That's a very difficult way to handle patients. Um, in any case, it's NPC. So I'm going to talk about NPC first. Nasopharyngeal cancer has lost ground. In the sense that you find it used to be fifth when it first started out, then it be sixth most common among females, now it's seventh most common. So something is happening that has reduced the incidence with time over this last three decades or so. And in fact, for females, no more in the top ten. Right? It used to be in the top ten, the tenth or so. Now no more. Okay, the only head and neck cancer for females in the top ten is thyroid. 